So, like, that's what I'm, I'm trying to get people to understand. I don't. I think Diddy is a freaky ass nigga. I think Diddy has done a lot of foul shit. You feel me? Yeah. But also, some of the things that's hit in the headlines is not go- going to be the things that's going to be put in his trap. A lot of them things that they putting in there, when you're saying racketeering, when you're saying RICO, when you're saying federal crimes, a judge don't give a fuck about a person more standing necessarily if it's not implicating them in the crime that they're being accused of. So yeah. I think that the thousand the thousand bottles of baby oil with the funny shit that I heard, the picture uh, that was going on. Well, I've seen this, but I don't know if it's accurate. I ain't looking at the article. That nigga had dildos in his room too, or that's just some rumors. I mean, Whoa. He's a freaky ass. So look, right? That's Paul's you're talking That's about you're talking, you're talking about a freaky ass nigga, bro. Would I be surprised if Diddy has a room and he has dildos in his room that either he's using on other men or women? No, I would not. We're talking about a person with a sex addiction that is crazy. Oh, oh my god. What do you think? Is it far fetched? Probably not. That's a pause. Look, love women. You know, nah, listen, I, I agree, bro. There's niggas that love women that got dildos in their room that they use on their girl. This is facts. Like, this is not like niggas got to understand, bro. When you start getting out in the world and really learning shit, you like, oh, shit, there's really sex addicted people in the world. Yeah. Crazy. I'm not, I thought I love sex. These niggas too deep in. Yeah, but best you know, you know it's niggas that like to watch a girl getting fucked. I mean, yeah, it's, called, it's called voyeurism, bro. I took a class called abnormal, abnormal psychology in college, bro. Learned a lot about sexual deviance. There's a lot of sexual deviance in the world. 